It was really big for years and years and years. Then it kind of went away. Fewer people use this technique and then now it's coming back. What is that? It's an advertising platform called Billboards. Guess what? Billboards are back. We're going to talk about how that can transform your organization and what it can mean for getting your message out. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. You know, remember, if you're watching on YouTube, like, share, comment. We'd love for you to share this story with your friends this episode. If you're listening on, on a podcast, rate us, review us. Let us know that uh, we're really touching a nerve or making a difference for you. And again, share it with your friends. If you have creative people who are your friends or leaders, particularly in the ministry world or in the nonprofit world, I'd love for you to get this message out to them. It's so critically important. Um, today, I want to talk about billboards. And I know that's not a very popular, it sounds boring to me, but let me tell you a story that happened to me very early in my career. You, you For those of you that know Joel Osteen, pastor at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, um, it was very interesting. Joel's dad, John Osteen, had billboards. I think it was 11 strategically placed billboards throughout the city of Houston. And in those days, their tagline was Lakewood Church, an oasis of love in a troubled world. John, uh, Joel's dad, John, loved that tagline. And it worked really well for him. And it, it, so he had it plastered all over the city. At least, I think there was 11 billboards in critical places, intersections of major freeways throughout Houston. Picture of John and oasis of love in a troubled world. And people got used to that. They noticed it because millions, when you think about it, in a city like Houston, millions of people passed under those billboards. Well, years ago, John, of course, passed away. And uh, we went for probably, gosh, it seems like I recall about nine months. I can't remember exactly how long before we decided who would take over for John. You may recall, J Joel was at the, end, you know, the, the first choice. He didn't want to be that guy. And uh, we decided, so what are we going to do? We, you know, we had a national television ministry. We had one of the largest churches in America. I'd been working with them for some time um, from the outside. And w we wondered, okay, so what should we do with the billboards? They got John's picture up there. You know, should we pull those? Should we leave it? So we had a meeting, you know, the leadership team, Joel and his creative guys and me. We sat down and we decided, let's just leave those up until we decide who's going to take over the church or we come up with another tagline. So um, in the meantime, we started working and we started thinking about what will the next tagline be? What will the next advertising promotional campaign be? And also we were thinking about, you know, who the next pastor will be. Well, as you all know, it became Joel Osteen. So during that time, we developed a new tagline, which was, we believe in new beginnings. And then, of course, that represented a lot of things, a new beginnings in a Christian life, uh, salvation, certainly a new beginning at Lakewood Church. And we came up with that tagline, and, and we started, John Swearingen, myself, the team down there, started working on a new commercial campaign, a promotional campaign to really roll that out through the city. But the billboards were still there. And we decided, what should we do about the billboards? So we came up with a whole new design for the billboards based on the We Believe in New Beginnings uh, line. And, uh, but we didn't know when to change them over. What we decided to do was, the Sunday Joel was announced as pastor, we wanted to switch over the billboards during the service. Now keep in mind, these are 11 strategically placed billboards throughout the city of Houston that millions of people see. And we wanted to, the idea, we, we had the idea of switching them out during the service. The problem was, how do you switch out, you know, 11 major billboards throughout a city in an hour? It was very difficult. The, the sign companies in Houston weren't able to pull that off. So we went to, I think it was Dallas and um, San Antonio, uh, maybe maybe Austin, and pulled in sign companies to could, that could help us. So the bottom line, this was so amazing, the bottom line was as people drove to church that particular Sunday, they saw all the old billboards, an oasis of love and a troubled world with John Osteen, the late John Osteen pastor up there. They come to church. We had a whole service laid out where we played the new commercial campaign we're going to use. They announced Joel as the new pastor of the church. People loved it. But we were switching billboards out all over the city at the same time. So when they drove home, guess what? After seeing all of this and hearing the announcement of Joel, they all drove home seeing the new billboards throughout the city. It created such a sensation that the Houston Chronicle did a front page story on the impact it made in the city. Billboards, who would have knew? Who knew? Who guessed? And What's interesting is since that time, and keep in mind, Joel's been pastor quite some time, and during that time, billboards have kind of fallen out of favor with a lot of people. Certainly, billboards are still around. You see them, 
but they've kind of fallen out of favor, particularly with churches or ministry organizations, other people. Um, and I bring this up because suddenly we're discovering in the, in the business world, billboards are coming back in a really strong way. In fact, it's the only area of non-digital advertising in 2018 that's going up. That's, that's bringing in a lot of money and having a huge impact. And we believe part of the reason is in a digital world where we're so immersed in, you know, I, you know, podcasts and YouTube channels and websites and social media and all this other stuff, driving is one of the few places where you can get people's attention anymore. Remember, I've said on this on these episodes before that the average person is bombarded with about 5,000 media messages every single day. And in that world, it's tough to get your message to break through. And we've discovered that when we're driving, even though you may be listening to music or maybe listening to a podcast, you're looking around when you're driving. And suddenly billboards are coming back as making a real impact out there because people are starting to notice them again because suddenly we have their attention. So we're finding that billboards are coming back in a really, really big way. In fact, um, the advertising impact is high for billboards. Uh, they cost, just some numbers I saw recently, they cost an average of $5.22 for 1,000 impressions compared to $7.91 on Instagram or $17.67 on TV. So as far as the buy for advertising, per impression, it's really low. And yet they're making a great impact out there. So I say all this just to say that today we don't have just regular billboards. We have what we call smart billboards that enable you to do digital messages. You can change the message regularly. You can do a lot of different things. So particularly if you're a church, I'm saying this particularly for marketing, communications people, pastors at local churches, maybe you should think about using billboards. I just saw the impact they had years ago in Houston, Texas with Lakewood Church. And I think that impact just really showed me if the, if the front page of the major newspaper in Houston would write a story about the impact switching out those billboards had during that one hour service. Was it expensive? Sure it was expensive, but how expensive would it have been to get a front page advertisement on a Houston newspaper? And the impact was so incredibly huge that it was really worth it. So all I'm saying is billboards are back. If you're really thinking about how you can make a different impact in your community, driving people to your church, capturing their attention, maybe billboards are something you should reconsider. I'm Phil Cook. Thank you for tuning in. We love to bring you these kind of insights, commercial, advertising, creative insights that will really help you get your message out to the world in a much bigger way. Share this with people you know. There are people out there that are struggling, trying to make an impact in their community with their advertising, their marketing, and maybe insight like this could make a difference. Share, rate us, subscribe makes a big difference. And don't forget to go to my blog at philcook.com, C-O-O-K-E, philcook.com, because that's where I, that's my home base. It's where I write about the intersection of faith, media and culture. If you go up to the right hand corner of my homepage, you can sign up for my free weekly email that'll send you the top blog post of the week. You don't even have to check my, my blog anymore. We'll send it right to your mailbox and you can see what's going on in the world of faith, media and culture. I think it's so important as a creative leader that you stay on top of what's going on out there.